In this video, we're going to be looking at version 3 of the Assignment Builder. The Assignment Builder is a file that runs in Adobe Reader, which is a free program which you can download. You'll want to make sure and download the latest version. Um, in this video, I'm running 10.1. When you open the file, the first thing it'll ask you to do is save a copy. This ab3.pdf, that should be your master file that you keep for creating new assignments and every time you create an assignment you'll want to save a copy I'll call mine my assignment that PDF let's say and I'll just save that on the desktop I have already done that before so I'll just have it replace that one okay when the document first opens up um, this this button may be on highlight existing fields this is going to show you where all the form fields are so you can leave that on so you'll know where those are you can turn it off what we have here is a form field for your assignment title another field for your instructions and then there's one question and answer form field for number one right now so the question gets typed in here, the answer gets typed in here. Now, if I want to come in and change the, the title, I just highlight that text and backspace and then type in my title. So I'll call this my assignment. Now when I want to add a question, I can use this button right here. And that'll give me a new a question field and an answer field. So I type in my question and then I could put some uh, text in here if I wanted to um, alert my readers to some information like type answer here or any kind of instructions you might want to give them that they can type over. I can keep adding as questions and if I put in too many fields I can delete the last one by hitting that delete button. Now these are rich text fields and they're also dynamic. So rich text fields if I go into a word processing program such as Microsoft Word in this case and I have um, Times New Roman, but I also want to use Comic Sans and some purple. And I want to have bold italic and underline. I want to use a heading two. And let's say I want to have a, an ordered list. I can create that text in my word processor and then copy it by doing uh, Control C or Command C. And then paste it back in to the assignment builder. So if I paste that in there, now I don't see the text right now, but these little arrows let me know that I have multiple lines, but it's a dynamic field. So as soon as I click anywhere outside of the field, the text, um, the text field itself is going to uh, dynamically resize to hold this content. And it also has the ability, if I were to paste this in again, and again, let's say, it also has the ability to break across a second page. So as you can see, that last line of text is spilling over into the second page. Now I have two pages to my document. Once I've added all my questions and I have the document the, the way I like it with the, the title and the instructions, then I can lock the file before I send it to my students. So by clicking this button, it's going to pull up a dialog window and it's telling me that this is going to hide all the buttons and I will no longer be able to add or delete questions. So if I want to proceed, I say yes. And now those buttons are gone. And you'll notice that when I come in here, um, all of the text for the title field, the instructions field, and the questions are all locked. But I still can come in here and type in anything I want to the answer field.
And so I'm going to go ahead and save my assignment, save those changes that I made, and I'll close this file. And then I'm going to open this copy of the assignment builder with Acrobat Reader X as if I were a student. And then when the student comes in, they would be instructed to type in their name. So let's say Johnny student assignment and they would save and more than likely there would not be text in Johnny's answer field so that would be out of there and um, he would answer the questions with his own text so does the second question go here he would say yes it does and he would go on to ask, answer all the questions saving as he goes along and then submit the file back to the teacher.